Good afternoon, good morning. This is Mark Johnson from Loyalty360. Welcome you to another Meet the Speaker series. Today we have the pleasure of speaking with Carlo Cimino. He is the Executive Director of E-Commerce at Lenovo. Carlo, thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Mark, thank you for having me on. Uh, looking forward to your session at the 2020 Loyalty Expo. Uh, looking forward to learning more about the My Lenovo Rewards Program you launched in September of 2019. Could you give us a little role, uh, a little bit of information about your role at Lenovo and also more information about Lenovo for those who may not know? Absolutely. Uh, Lenovo is the number one PC manufacturer in the world. We sell uh, a variety of PC products, ThinkBooks, ThinkPads, uh, Legion laptops and desktops, yoga laptops. Uh, and we're number one in the world, but what's interesting is that in North America, we're still very much a challenger brand uh, at number three. And though we've grown um, at, a, at an aggregate level, uh, at a premium to the market over the last couple of quarters, we're still very much kind of an unknown um, challenger brand in North America. I run Lenovo.com, which means that uh, I am li largely responsible for the sales productivity of um, our e-commerce business as it relates to transactional consumer and small business sales. So if you come to Lenovo.com and you want to purchase a laptop or a desktop or a monitor or any number of other great items that we have for sale on our website, that is my team that manages not only the merchandising, but also the promotional cadence, the campaign planning, the product assortment, the pricing, et cetera, all in pursuit of um, trying to go grow our uh, direct business as a part of the overall North America business in general. Excellent. Could you give us a short preview of what you plan on covering during your session at the Loyalty Expo? Sure. Uh, and and in, in large measure, I think what we were trying to do or what I'd like to try to get across is um, that the uh, road to building a loyalty program at Lenovo um, was actually not an easy one. And uh, and prior to my joining the, the business about two years ago, there had been a number of different um uh, attempts to go build out a loyalty program and sort of conceptualize it in general. And what we found was there was a lot of internal reluctance to to build one out specifically for our consumer audience. The, the reality is, that as we look at um, as we look at our business specifically um, as a challenger brand, it's it it can be difficult to to drive awareness and consideration. But what we realize is we have an extraordinary, um, a short, extraordinarily sort of um, uh, passionate group of people who buy our products uh, over and over again. And they're very, very, very passionate about our brand. They're very passionate about uh, the products that we have. The problem that we had uh, as an organization is we have a life cycle that is measured in years, right? Somebody comes in and buys a laptop and then they don't come back and buy anything from us uh, until something happens to that laptop or they want to, to refresh it. And that cycle can be years and years and years, especially on the consumer side. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to, one, number one, recognize that we have extraordinarily loyal uh, customers. Uh, who are very loyal to the brand and reward them. The second thing that we wanted to do is we needed to really start to go look at how do we drive engagement with uh, with not only our loyal customers, but customers in general, so that we can continue to have a relationship with them uh, in between the PC purchase life cycle. And, uh, and loyalty uh, in and of itself was a, was a great enabler for that. So when we started thinking about um, not only the sort of um, qualitative aspects of meeting and talking with our customers over and over uh, on a consistent basis in between PC purchases, we also realize that we can go um, encourage them to consider Lenovo for uh, purchases that aren't necessarily just specific to a PC, right? So we, in conjunction with our loyalty program, we also supplemented our um, uh, portfolio products to include stuff that people uh, purchase uh, in addition to PCs, and that's headphones, audio, uh, gaming consoles, accessories um, from a lot of fantastic third parties um, that you couldn't get before. So it really was this sort of um, coupling of a very strong rewards program uh, with thoughtfulness around how do we go build out a portfolio that, um, that our customers care about uh, and that will keep them coming back uh, over and over again. Excellent. Uh, it seems to be you developed a very comprehensive program and you seem to have some of the challenges that those who have that longer life cycle uh, are dealing with. And it seems uh, that you have a pretty effective process and a measurable program to help address that. And it, it's great to see that. And it's been great to see uh, some things you guys are doing and obviously enjoyed the conversations we've had thus far. Yes, I, me too. Uh, so the next question, who will benefit from attending your conference session? 
I, I'm hoping that uh, that uh, a number of uh, different types of people will. Um, number one are the people that are perhaps just started a loyalty program um, and really don't know necessarily how to measure it um, or what if, what uh, what effectiveness um, looks like, what, what an effective program looks like. So we'll, we'll share a lot of what loyalty means to us from a quantitative point of view. And, and, and I'll be honest with you, a lot of times when I go to conferences, that that element of um, here's what success looked like for us uh, quantitatively. Here are the things that we did to go drive that number up. That Those elements are missing. And I, I often find that when I go to conferences, I really want to go learn from the best in the industry. And I'm not suggesting that that's uh, us. But I, it, what is what is interesting is we are uh, very much a culture of metrics uh, in this organization. And we measure a lot of stuff. And loyalty was not only an attempt to, to, to continue to be um, engaged and drive relevant conversations with our audience, but it also was frankly meant to, to, to drive uh, high customer lifetime value. Um, so I wanted to share a little bit about loyalty, what loyalty has meant to us from a quantitative point of view from some of the KPIs. I also wanted to share, and we will share, things where we frankly made some missteps. We, um, you know, we, we thought we uh, had our customers figured out and as customers have a tendency to do, uh, we were surprised uh, to find out that, that maybe we um, missed an opportunity. So having consistent uh, and constant communications with your customers and allowing them to really provide you with feedback to, to chart the future course of loyalty is, uh, is really important. And then the third thing I'm hoping that I can get across is, um, you know, loyalty can be measured in many different ways. Uh, it, it, for us, it is both about how do we continue to keep our customers engaged, but uh, but it can be, frankly, how do you drive brand awareness and how do you um, drive engagement with, with specific portions of, of a brand message? Or it could be, how are you driving commerce through your loyalty program? So um, I wanted to just, I'm hoping that I can provide a little bit of point of view on how we took a hybrid approach where it's not necessarily just about engagement um, or just about commerce, but it's really about bridging um, the, the the gap between those two uh, and, and that we found to be successful in, uh, in sort of uh, evolving our own loyalty program. Excellent. Well, Carla, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. We look forward to your session at the Loyalty Expo in May. Uh, and uh, it's going to be very powerful, very impactful. and. Uh, Congrats on all the process and uh, that you put in place at Lenovo and the great success you've seen so far. And we look forward to hearing about it at the conference. Great. Well, thank you for having me. I look forward to it. Hopefully, I live up to the expectations. <laughs> Excellent.